We have a fellow brethren who are in different parts of the world and who are in India right now and God is protecting and keeping them safe. Together with you, I praise God for the protection that is Every sign that we see around the world only gives us one message that our Jesus is coming back soon and it's not very far off. And for different things for this world, God will make several things happen in the world. So when we go through the circumstances, we have to understand the seriousness of it and why the circumstances happened. One of the two greatest promises that God gave to the world was Jesus coming in the human form and the second coming of Jesus. We can also conclude by saying there is no other greater thing than that both of them. And for both those promises, the children of God should be able to know the reason and what is the goal. And Joseph and Mary were not in that place where they lived, where Jesus was supposed to be born. And they were staying in a place which was completely not in the presence of God where Jesus was to be born there. But the, the persons who were in authority at that time said that you all should go back to the places where you were born. And God is preparing a path at the time when Jesus needs to be born in this world. If it was any other circumstance, Mary would not have traveled taking Jesus in her womb. She had to abide the law of the land, that's why she traveled. For the promise of God to be delivered, God does certain things in this world. When we hear the law of the land being proclaimed, the child of God will understand why that law is being in place. A common man of the world would just understand as a normal decree of the law of the land being said for some senses or for certain other things. But a child of God who is learning from the word of God will understand it is God's purpose and the will of God according to his promise. And remember that when that decree was proposed, even the weather conditions were favorable. Just imagine if it was a time when the heavy snow would be in that place, people could not travel. And to understand the decree being said, the weather being favorable during Jesus' birth, even the weather was being favorable at that time. 
When a child of God sees all the circumstances and the signs just imagine and understand that God is preparing a path for us. As Jesus himself said that when you see that the victory is not bearing fruit, you have to understand what is the ultimate of it. And the Israelites were into two different kingdoms at that time. And ten of the tribes were under Jeroboam at that time. That is what has been called as the royal the country. Even though they live in a common place, but they were enemies in each other. And they had problems and trials with both of them. In their life and day to day life, they were in two different areas. Our spirit should not be lost. 
salvation is individual and when Jesus is coming back he will call us individually may God enable us to attain that position that God is going to give us in the psalm that we read today we read in this way and he led them forth by the right way that he meant go to the city for a dwelling place a city that they may dwell if they need to reach there they need to go to the right path the way that is leading us is the right way what God leads us is the right way this world has many ways for itself maybe those ways are ready for us to travel but if we travel to that way and the end is the disaster but there is a right way in this world that is the way that God writes us and this message is what God has prepared for me to tell the church Satan will ask us to travel to different paths at that time we have to know what is God's way and we have to walk through it but traditionally we have a lot of things in our mind we should never we know how Israelites went to Canaan. We also know from Canaan how they went to Egypt. Jacob is saying that there is food grains in Egypt. Go and buy and come back. We know and the reason why Jacob's children went to Egypt was a good way and they went through that very royal place to Egypt to buy food multiple times and they went to a very royal part when Jacob died and all the Pharaoh's army went to Joseph to bury him there. They have this huge big path in their mind. Because they are acquainted with their path many times. But when God is delivering Israel to Egypt, they have to reach Canaan. But they did not go to that path that they were acquainted. They have to go to the path that God led them. It's not because they don't have a royal path. Because God Maybe to the mind it is not a good way. 
when Pharaoh killed all the children of Israelites into the Nile, Pharaoh and the Israelites how they were very weeping. God wanted to show 